IPF World Classic Powerlifting Championships, and this is heating up to be an absolute sensational session. We've got the 72 kilo women about to kick off. Ryan, what is your prognosis? Look at this is easily the most stacked division in the women's and possibly all of powerlifting for this IPF World Championship. Everybody is talking about the 72 kilo class. You have the return of the greatest 72 kilo lifter of all time, Kimberly Walford, missed last year. You have Anna Castellane from Brazil, multiple time world champion. You got Isabella von Weisenberg, the home lifter, world record breaker. And you also have Jessica Bittner, who is a world champion in the juniors, making her open debut. Any one of them could win the title so close you cannot make a mistake. Well, we've had stack sessions all week. We just had an amazing session just earlier today with Taylor Atwood absolutely destroying world records and destroying the competition. And now in the 72s, it's just going to get better and better. This is this is absolutely stacked. It's anyone's games. That top five lifters here, anyone can come through. And we've seen how days can unfold. We've seen favorites come in. And, you know, the, the deck of cards just crumbles. Let's see if we can get everyone on the board and let's see if we can get some really good battles at the end of this one. It is going to be exciting. Yeah, unlike some showdowns, if one person doesn't show up, the showdown doesn't really unfold like you want it to. They're, this is so stacked, it matters not if one person falls behind. You have four other lionesses that could take it. Too close to call, right to the last deadlift. Speaking of, Kimberly Walford, the greatest deadlifter we've ever seen, will finally have a deadlift battle because Jessica Bittner might be able to match her. Well, it's going to come down to it. Every session seems to come down to it. We are two seconds away. Kristen Dunsmore from the U.S. Little background. Kristen Dunsmore is dealing with a very tough injury here, showing a lot of heart. The, you'll see the pain. Yeah, she's putting a 75 on just to get that lift on the board so just she can register a total. Get on the board and then move on from there. This is not going to be easy. And she puts that one on the board. And that's all she needs to do. Three white lights. Yeah, you can see she's walking off. Uh, it's difficult. Rather slowly, a little bit tender. Seen her in the warm-up area, um, the amount of pain that was on her face. But look at this, the World Championships. It was too late to pull out and put someone else in. So, like a lion, is going to pick up whatever points she can yeah, for her team. points on the board. Holly Bryans from Great Britain, 160. Now, this is going to roll through pretty fast because we've actually got there's two flights. We've got the one flight here on platform A and the other flight on platform B. Uh, so it's going to roll through pretty fast. There's not going to be a huge amount of recovery time between sessions. So they're going to have to really work on managing their energy levels. So 160, well away from a personal best. Should be a nice, easy opening lift. Nicely done. A couple of the openers we're going to want to pay attention to. Isabella von Weisenberg holds the world record in squat, and she's opening a 192.5. If that moves well, she might break her own world record. And Jessica Bittner is a very muscular 72 and has a big cut. And oftentimes, she gets stronger as the meat goes because her cut is so drastic. So how her opener moves is going to be very telling as well, how she's dealing with that rehydration. All right now, Maria Littness, 167 and a half. And these are just our openers. So she just had a look and wasn't happy with the rack height, but that's the rack height that she put in. Uh, and that's the rack height the spotters and loaders set to. And she'll change it, probably change that for her next lift. And that's why you want your opener to be low and nothing you have to worry about because things yeah. like that happen. Well, that's right. And that was absolutely spot on the money there. It was a lift that she could handle any time, of the, any day of the week. And she'll get a coach to fix that up. Stina from Norway, 170. Bringing some intensity to the platform for this one. Mm -hmm. 
give you an idea of just how strong these girls are. 200 kilograms is the world record. Yeah, and with Isabella opening at 192.5, she's obviously yeah, We'll probably give good. that a bit of a nudge, I think. <laughs> I'd, I'd hate to think she's opening at 195 and just and just wants to add 2.5 kilos. And that was a <coughs> no lift there, just not getting deep enough. The hometown crowd, look at Isabel von Weiserberg is on billboards. She's at bus stops, on posters. This place is stacked, and they're all Isabella fans representing the home nation. She's got no shortage of support. Susanna Agra from Great Britain, 170. That's a tough opener there. Just looked like she got a li little bit out of line. Have a look at the replay. Sits in well. Yeah, it's a little shift. Yeah, in the it looks torso. like she just didn't push that chest up enough right from the start. Angelina Elivakova from Russia, 175. Personal best of 182 and a half. It's a good, uh, Man, good plan. Super yeah. smooth. You want to stay under your personal best, so you don't expend too much. Had three lifters already miss their openers. Um, this is actually on both platforms going simultaneously. But Kimberly Warford. Kimberly is possibly the greatest 72 kilo of all time. Possibly the greatest uh, power lifter of all time absolutely dominant miss 2018 in calgary and wants her title back at 41 years old we're going to see how much she has left right. if the rain continues 180 just below personal best looks good yeah and there it is <laughs> <laughs> Bit of a head shake and a nod there. Yep. Three it's weights. And look, if it looked a little slow, her squats always kind of move like that. That's why she gave a little indication. Now we're good. I know it moves a little slow. This is how we squat. It's just due to relievers, long femurs, long torso. She really has to sit back. So it looks like she's folding, getting crunched. But uh, Alyssa Smith from Canada, 182 and a half. Now I've seen Alyssa. Um, been lifting a while now and at the Canadian Nationals. She's a 10-year veteran. Very strong. Definitely could. She could make top five. And with a murderer's row of contenders like that, that is saying a lot. Looks good. Sinks it in really well. That looks yep. like a good opener. Right on the money. There's one Canadian. Ken has got a really strong one-two punch in this division. And here she is. Jessica Bittner, 185. 2018 Junior World Champion, two-time Junior World Champion. She had a pretty tough water cut. She's been rehydrating. Ordinarily, this would not be anything that was sweat about. This will give an indication, though how this rehydration is going. Death looks good. Speed looks good. Yep. Doesn't seem to be affected too much. On the board. Looks good. She really will get stronger as the event goes because she cuts the most weight now. Um, Anna Castellane from Brazil, 190. Anna Castellane is, she's won multiple world records in the 72s, 84s, in equipment, yeah, out of equipment. She is a force to be reckoned with. I've seen, she is a fighter. 
I've seen her miss her second deadlift, load up the weight heavier, pull for the win, and hit it. Absolute fighter with a champion's heart. Very much in the hunt for the world title. And there's that fight. And she likes a fight. Look, she's smiling. She likes a good fight. Yeah, look, she made it. She made it look a lot harder than it was. <laughs> the Brazilians, I'm telling you, like a fight. Yeah. Isabella. Sweden. Wasenberg from Sweden, 192 and a half. Sweden's favorite daughter, the star, the pride of the nation, poster girl, literally, for Sweden and the whole world championships and the crowd is filling up the crowd is going crazy they have a 20-foot billboard on this building with isabella von weiserberg and there's one and there's one well let's see what the referees say she's bringing her a game <laughs> And Look at the crowd. Doesn't finish there. It's Amelia from Sweden, 192 and a half as well. Sweden really stacking the deck here. Two huge squatters within range of breaking the record. It might be Sweden versus Sweden for that world record. It could come down to it. I Os bet it stays in Sweden. Well, there's a good chance of that. <laughs> Oscar Bjorn in her corner. Great coach. And an absolute gentleman. Her personal best is 197.5. This is pretty close to that. Be interesting to see how this moves. That's a bit of a fight. That's a great, that looked like almost a third attempt. That was a tough lift for an opener. She sunk it pretty deep though. No question, it's just like seeing where her, A, her personal best was, B, the fact that you're opening alongside the greatest squatter we've yeah, ever seen, 72 kilo class. And if you look at the replay, she sunk that very, very deep. And just, you know, hips popped up with the bounce really well. Probably just caught her a little bit off guard. Hips moving up a little bit faster than she expected. I'm thinking two and a half kilo jump for her though, what do you think? Yeah, two and a half to five. I think five Holly might be Bryan's, Bryan's, we'll Great Britain, 170. 10 kilo jump, resting two and a half below her personal best. Looks good to me. Yep. And it moved like an, a second attempt should. Yeah, let's see how a second should. Christina from Norway, 170. Missed this on her opener, retaking it now. It wasn't on strength. No, it was just, just a depth issue. And you know what? She's only going to move it another centimeter and a half. Yeah, no major adjustments needed. Just a bit lower, and you'll be fine. Pick up where you left off. That's that looks better. Yep. yep. I'm all likely Smooth to do it. all the way through. And it is. It's on the board. Good enough. Maria Letnis from Norway, 175. Right on her personal best. Yep. Likely looking to best that in her third. It'll be interesting to see how she moves this. Give a good indicator of how much of a jump she wants to make. Because you'll be in uncharted territory after this. Well, smooth enough. Yeah, and that was pretty smooth. That moved very, very well. Susanna Agar from Great Britain, 177 and a half. This is 
Seven and a half, seven and a half kilo jump. She's had to put in the work for it. Definitely. Um, she kept the form, which allowed her to complete the lift, but it was definitely work. Yeah, there was plenty of work there. Kimberly Wolford, 185. Five kilo jump. And it's a Masters world record. Yep, Kimberly Wolford is a master. Previous, previous world record, 183.5. She's looking at 185. 180 was. I had a, a sneaking suspicion she'd go for a world record today, but yeah, you don't want to jinx it. 180, 180 was work, but Kimberly Walford, it's, it's the way she squats. They're all work. She's got a lot of strength, and that's an understatement. She's getting oh. a replacement command. Uh, what do they not like? They want her a little more upright. She's got time. Yeah, she's plenty of time. Plenty of time. And you see how she's been around here so long. That doesn't matter at all. She yeah. shook her head. Okay, sure, sure. She's got the experience. There you go. And gets it to the top. Let's see what the referees say. The line. Yeah, I Not deep enough. I thought it was a little, the, the, the one challenge she has because of the way she squats and her chest comes forward, Sometimes the hips stay high and yeah, you see there. Yeah, a bit high on that one. A little high. Strength is there, just gotta sink it back. Angelina Levakova from Russia, 185. And this is a two and a half kilo personal best for her. Very solid squat. And that was <laughs> textbook. Smirk goes on her face. Yeah, off the that was absolutely textbook. Probably get to see the replay there. Her head's up, her chest is up. Absolutely spot on the money. Jessica Bittner, 192 and a half. My first year of commentating for the APF Worlds, I saw this young lady win the Junior World Championship, came home talking Jessica Bittner, and look at few of the years later, in the open, challenging some of the greats. She has lived up. Seven and a half kilo jump. Depth is there. Yeah, it looks oh. solid. It does, and she's getting stronger as the water goes into her body. That's trouble for everyone else. Alyssa Smith from Canada, 192 and a half. And how about this one-two punch for Canada? Alyssa Smith, any other given day, would be a phenomenal representation. And Isabella von Weisenberg is going to look at cracking that world record on a second. Yep. One ninety-two and a half, just under her personal best. Alyssa's training has been going very well. And she could surprise people. She could definitely net herself a top five finish if she has the day she's aiming for. Top five in toughest division in powerlifting. She's amongst the elite. Strength is no problem. Yeah. What do the referees say? It'll be close. And it was. Yeah. It was. <laughs> Side referees say good. And it is from the side. Yeah. Yep. Head oh, referee three. says a bit shy. It's a bit harder to tell. Ana Castellane from Brazil. On a competing 13 years, literally a legend in the sport. I kid you not. Some of her wins are monumental. There's a lot of time coaching as well. Yeah, uh, a real figurehead in Brazilian powerlifting. Such a fighter. 
And just couldn't get the fight on that one. You know, you had said the opener looked a little tougher than you would have liked. Yeah, I mean, I think she'll get that on a, on a third attempt. She just, uh, I mean, she almost pushed through that sticking position on that one. It just got a little bit too much. She was a little bit too far forward. Uh, she'll come in on a third, and I think she'll hit that. Amelia Moritzen from Sweden, 197 and a half. I thought maybe two and a half kilo. She went up five. I love her to prove me wrong, but that opener was all types of work. I think she might have opened a little too heavy to have three squats in. It's going to be tough. Yeah, she's pretty tough herself. Nick. The lift out didn't look overly confident. Oh, she's got some fight. Holy moly. She pretty has got some fight. Wow. Pretty tough herself indeed. And the crowd must love not that. I'm not entirely sure where you go from there. Oh, but no, well, that, that's got to be the top end, but that is a phenomenal squat. Well, talk about phenomenal squats right now. 203 for a world record. Isabella von Weisenberg from Sweden. 203 world record on her second. The previous world record, 200 kilograms. Yeah, she's not just chipping her old world record. She is having a phenomenal training session. Mike Teaser, coach on the side. I've been following her on social media, just crushing numbers. And she is an intense lifter. Crowd is rallying behind her. Whoa! It was fast. For a world record. It was fast wow. on the board. It's rare you see a world record taken that easily. That would have looked like a normal second attempt. If you hadn't have told me that was a world record, I wouldn't have believed you was so easy. Will we see 210 on a third? You think it's two? I think she's got 210. I think, I, I think she'll take maybe 210.5 for the chip, but yeah, I think that's in range. Holly Bryan's now for her third, 172 and a half. I tell you what, Gary, I like your attempt selection throw a chip on there and I think it's reasonable and it'll really add to that total she's right in the hunt to win this all waited with bated breath to see that attempt selection today eh? 208 208 208 it is I think that's that's probably a very high percentage based off of 203 Holly Bryan's 172 and a half Great third lift there. Looks good. Looks good. Equals her personal best. Three for three, three white lights. And on track for a, a personal best uh, total as well. Maria Letnus, 180. So give her a five kilogram personal best. Just a little bit too tough there. Yeah, these are third attempts. We've already seen some failures. They are really pushing each other, trying to rise to the occasion, gain some ground. It's really crowded on the top. Not a lot of elbow room. Somebody's getting pushed aside. Uh, Stina from Norway now, 180. Decent 10 kilo jump. However, may have been where she's always planning to finish off with her third because she had to retake her opener. She's hit 186. This is not out of reason. Yeah, 
mean, the 170 moved really, really well, so. And the 180 moved pretty well, too. Oh, she gets the two reds, though. Uh, let's take a look at that replay. She's got uh, some depth there. There we are. Oh, I guess it was actually yeah, a little, little bit high from the side, yeah. Susanna Argyle from Great Britain, 180. Two and a half kilo jump and two kilo below her personal best. Looking to go three for three. Losing and her grip. She's fighting. Whoa, she might lose that grip entirely. That hands. Holy. <laughs> wow. I'm not sure how she got that back to the top. That bar was getting away that from her. Was the wildest squat attempt. I don't know if we have a replay here, but my goodness, her grip it was getting away from her. Pay attention to her hand grip here. It slips, <laughs> almost rolled right off her back regains the grip and finishes and you can see the spotters in the background just uh they're called really ready they didn't take it from her and here's kimberly walford so 185 she misses on her second world record this is five kilos she's going to need towards her total yeah, she missed this on depth i think she'll make the adjustments she's been here before She had to fight for it. Let's wait for the referee's decision. Yeah, let's see. Not no. deep enough. See, uh, she did get one white. Let's see the replay on this. Actually, I think we have the side that the ref gave it to her, so. Right, it's going to be close. It's very close on the side that she We're got certainly it. Certainly going to the jury on it. Now, 192 and a half goes on the bar. Angelina Elivakova from Russia. And she's having a great morning. Seven well, great afternoon, actually. <laughs> Depends where you are. Maybe it's morning for her back home. Seven and a half kilo jump. Ten kilo personal best. And this is why if you do your research, you may not see some of these contenders coming because they make gains. Well, I am sure her friends and family are watching back home. It's 2.30 in the afternoon in Moscow, so everyone's watching. And absolute textbook again. Adds 10 kilos to a personal best. That was a squat lesson right there. Yeah. Three white lights. And that moved very smoothly. Like she had more in the tank. Yeah. Some, sometimes when you make progress like she has, you almost second guess where your attempt should be because... Yeah, she's also saving a little bit as well. I mean, it's a long competition. Yeah. You know, we've seen some of these lifters come out of nowhere before. She might Anna be one of them. Castellane from Brazil. 195. Now, she missed it on a second. And I think she will have fixed a few little things up. It was strength, though, so it's going to be... Well, sometimes bar alignment makes a big change. And oh. just not quite there. She almost pushed through that sticking point then. And these are the two big favorites, the two big guns coming in, missing. It really swings open the door. Well, it does because you've got young women like uh, Angelina... Elavakova from Russia who are just sitting there doing their job. As well as this young lady. And we just saw Dunn sneak in for a bronze medal in a previous session. But right now, Jessica Bittner, 197.5. She's watching the women she looked up to when she first got in the sport, faltering and the door swinging open. When your idols become rivals, five kilo jump from her second. Can she start to close that gap? Yep, is there. So it's the strength. Yeah, she's got that one. You can see the smile on her face. Nicely she's confident. Done. And she is flying in the squad, literally flying in the squad event. The young gun's really pulling through here. Uh, Alyssa Smith now, 197. And she will be equaling her partner, her teammate, compatriot, Jessica Bittner, 197.5 is a big squat gonna for Melissa. So. Going to give her a good personal best as well. Oh. Alyssa is capable. Oh. 
one ninety seven and a half. You know, she can total into the 500s. The top five up can all be in the 500s, and a few years ago, that'd be unheard of. Deep for sure. Yeah, oh, she's, she's good. very she's strong. Fight, but it's just a little too much. Almost got through that. She was that. doing really well. If you mm -hmm. watch the replay, she had that fight. She had it. And then you can see the hip shift and the back shift forward. Right there. It looked like she had it, but yeah. no. Close. Amelia Moritzson from Sweden, 200 kilograms. Look at that, 197 and a half was one of the most minutes, gutsy squats. Ten minutes ago, this would have equaled the world record. I could have made myself a sandwich in the time that she was squatting out that second attempt. It would be monumental for her to hit this, but how many times can miracles happen? Well, we've seen it time and time again, haven't we? I'll tell you, she's entertaining and all types of strong. Never would have thought this. And look at the Swedes. Packed house. Uh, it's just a bit too much. Can't fault her for trying. She held it well. She handled the weight well. It was just a bit too much to push, though. Already put on a hell of a show for everybody. Well, no there's complaints. more shows coming because oh. Isabella now. 208 kilograms to add another five kilos to that world record and more importantly another five kilos to her total you hit it right on the head more importantly because she is really in contention right now to win it all in on the home grown isabella von weisberg in sweden we both thought 210 was in the bank 208 gotta be as close to sure money as the world record could be yeah looking at 203 I would have no hesitation on 2-8 whatsoever. But we are about to find out. So you can see her teammate there cheering her on as well. Isabella Watson, look how focused she is. It's depth. Ooh, and she just mistimed it a little bit. A brilliant effort. You have a look at the replay on that. She just missed time at the bottom there. Didn't quite get the bounce that she would usually get. And cut it a little bit shy. And you can see that cutting it shy was just a case of not getting the usual bounce. Wasn't able to uh, get that bounce out and that power out of the bottom like she usually would. Uh, and that was what disallowed her to really put in the fight. But she got the world record. She put in one incredible squat clinic and I'll tell you what we had another squat clinic from the Russian she was absolutely outstanding with her technique and she's just sitting in the wings just waiting to see if this you know this year is this my opportunity to pounce I tell you what so we had the established legends in Kimberly Walford and Anna Castellane coming in they were the top two seeds in nomination and by far the most thorough resumes both of them hitting openers, falling behind a little bit. Now the young guns, Isabella von Weisenberg, Jessica Bittner, and they're all rising their game. When the sharks smell blood, we know how that goes. Well, it's such a battle that, and we see how these battles unfold sometimes. They lose sight of what's behind them, push each other, they make mistakes, and then someone creeps in. Well, don't go anywhere because in 19 minutes and 16 seconds, we're going to be right back here, right on this platform, watching this deck of cards unstack.
Welcome back to Helsingborg, Sweden. I'm in the booth with none other than Ryan Six Pack Lapidap, and we are going to take you through what's going to be one heck of a bench session. It's already been a great squat session. What can you call it, Gary? It is looking at the forecast far too close to call, and not just between number one, two, three. We're talking one through four to five. It is within kilos still and the race is only going to maintain this tight entering into the bench. Yeah, look, and there's plenty of women in this field that are just sitting back, sticking to their game plan, and thinking, you know what? Is this time going to be my opportunity to pounce? Do I get a chance here? Because these top women are pushing themselves so hard that that's when we see mistakes start to happen and someone just slides in behind who no one ever saw coming. So you've got to have eyes in the back of your head in this game. Yeah, it's uh, really no room for error. Um, walking around the warm-up room, you know, you have somebody like Kimberly Walford, veteran, moving forward with just her opener and squat. You know that wasn't part of the plan. However, greatest deadlifter we've ever seen, probably regardless of weight class, capable of pulling yourself into the winning position almost from anywhere. And then you have Jessica Bittner. In the warm-up before the squats, they were working on her muscles because heavy muscle cramping due to dehydration. She's only getting stronger and stronger, not to mention Isabella von Weisenberg coming in on the front end of a massive world record squat and has a momentum of all the energy in the house. Well, when you've got a stack field like this, it is going to come down to pulling yourself into the gold medal position. Well, we are 20 seconds away from getting this session started off with Holly Bryan from Great Britain putting on a 90 kilo bench press that in itself is a big opening number and it's not even the biggest yeah in a, another side note here so the american um kristen dunsmore who was dealing with a very severe injury had to take her opener squat only and then bow out the next two attempts hoping to do well in the bench press event and possibly collect a medal if it's in the taking but this is a very competitive weight class for medals and of course, the bench press session done on, completed on this fantastic new Alico rack. Beautiful rack. Uh, great design and extra friction on the bench there, making it a little bit easier. You've benched on the new rack during this competition. How it, was it? Can you even remember? It was like a dream. I can't even remember it. Uh, and Holly puts on a really nice opening lift there. But in all, all honesty, if I could be safe for a second here, no, the, the new grip, the friction on it, when you set up, your shoulders don't move, less of a chance for your butt rising, it really does make a difference, especially for power lifters, because we set up for these bench presses. Yeah, we set up with that pressure in that direction, we drive through that direction. You know, it's a great design. So, Amelia Moritzen from Sweden, 90 kilograms had one hell of a squat session and that looks good on the board so Jessica Bittner 92 and a half You know, it's funny, Jessica told me, the coaching staff told her the squat she went for was 200 kilo even. They do. they wanted to get her keyed up, even though it was only 197.5, because they needed her intensity. They were right, the 200 milestone sometimes gets people keyed up like that. You have to know your athlete, don't you? Yeah, I mean, that's part of being a, a coach out the back there. It's part of being a platform coach is very quickly getting to know your athlete. That's a nice bench opener. And that's really what you want to see, right, Gary? Yeah, nice and cruisy. You don't want to be putting in an enormous amount of effort on that opener. You've still got two more to come after this, and you've got deadlifts to come. You do not want to be cooking yourself on the bench. Mm -hmm. And you can really tighten your back when you have a big arch. And if you Isabella, hear the crowd... Von Weisenberg, Sweden, 95. It's almost like you don't even have to it's say who's up next. When you, yeah, it's on cue. Cue the crowd. The poster girl herself. And uh, winning gold in the squats as well as a world record. The golden girl from Sweden. 95, this should be a cruisy opener for her. We've seen how powerful she is at the moment. Yeah, her training's going very well. I'm expecting this to move well. Wow. And it does. 
you know, her Considering total. Her personal best was 97 and a half. Yeah, that is just, look at, her projected total is starting to turn like a mountain. Can other contenders climb? I don't know. It's going to be, it, it's going to be just to get on the podium, well, monumental efforts. Here's one young lady that is hoping to make a mark here, Angelina Lovakova from Russia, 95. Her squat technique was absolutely bang on point. Always had that little smirk on the way up, confident. Yeah, she's enjoying it. Seven Look at the years. art she gets there. She's got that chest up so high. She's technically proficient for sure. Right on the money. Good opening lift there. Yeah, they, I can't remember last time I seen the Russian team make a call that didn't look right on the money. They're very good with the attempt selection. So get the most out of the athletes. Her, her job now through the bench press is just to get three on the board. Mm -hmm. Stina from Norway, 95 kilograms. Likely around the 110 range in bench press is a medal. Um, historically speaking, that's the case. And if Stina plays her cards right, it might be in reach. Well, that's a good opener. <laughs> Susanna Argyle from Great Britain now at 95. And she got the two red lights there. Hmm, did butt looks come like up? Looks like the butt lift. Yeah, it looks like butt lift. She's going to be a little bit disappointed with that. Because weight-wise, very easy moving lift. So For anyone, Susanna Argyle, 95. Anyone listening, points of contact need your butt on the bench, feet flat, shoulders, head, and um, at the top end, your elbow's got to be locked. And as with all the lifts, can't have any up-down, only one motion. Yeah, no second shots at it. <laughs> Done. One goes on the board. She got one red light there. Let's see if we can pick it up in the replay. I wasn't. She might have had some head movement. I wasn't looking at her head. Yeah, me neither. And we're not going to see the head. So. Yeah, we can't see that from here. Passed either way. Alyssa Smith. And Alyssa really had a good squat session, and opening pretty heavy on the bench. So, her subtotal is looking very competitive. Uh, right now, she's looking for 95. She's hit 100 in competition. This should be within her means. Oh, that was pretty smooth. Goes on the board. Kimberly Walford from... The Virgin Islands looking for 105, well under her personal best, so should be a good opening lift. Kimberly has um, serviceable squat, serviceable bench, monster deadlift. She doesn't need to, she's, she's not looking to win the bench press. She usually could end up on the podium depending on where her third attempt lies her. She'll be in the hunt certainly, but more or less try not to lose too much ground. Every kilo gained here is less kilo she has to pull for the win. Yeah, I mean, right now she just needs to do a job. And that's a good way to start. Yeah. You know, you had said previously, Gary, many times, and I'll agree, strategy oftentimes is this isn't where you're going to win it, but this is where you could lose it if you lose kilo. Yeah, I mean, too many people trying to make up ground in the bench yeah. press, and it's not an area you're going to make up ground. It's an area you can just keep adding and chipping away. More or less hold serve. Kristen Dunsmore, USA 105. Driving her traps into that bench, pushing off into the bar. Pretty smooth. Yeah, very smooth open of that one. Kristen Dunsmore is on the, on the board, three white lights. 
Ana Castellan from Brazil, 115. Squad event wasn't how she wanted to kick off her day. Could rebound here. She does have a very big bench. Might be the biggest bench amongst all the 72s. Yeah, she's got plenty of room to move from 115. So she just wants this one to go well. We said before, not many are going to gain ground on the bench. She's one of the few that could gain yeah, a little. She's one of the few lifters that has the opportunity to make up a few extra kilos compared to other lifters. And, you know, she's opening well below her personal best to give her room to move and make up that ground. Mm -hmm. That was nice. And 115 absolutely flies up. A quick chat with the coach on the way past. What should I put in the bar? <laughs> put it all on there. <laughs> well, because she's got a big bench, she has the opportunity where fall behind a little on squats. They can have the conversation after the opener. Yeah, I mean, she can make up a little bit of what she would have made on squats. Mm -hmm. Not a lot, but a little bit of it. In the, yep. Maria Letnis from Norway, 115. 115 is a big opener. We'll see how it moves for her. Yeah, it moves smooth. It wasn't super fast, but it was smooth all the way through. Mm -hmm. Likely smaller jumps, even though her and Anna open toe-to-toe. -to -toe, I don't think they're going to keep pace. Yeah, I don't think she's going to match her on, uh, on pace on the bench press. And, and you say, have you said previously, don't get caught up in the chasing anyone either. Yeah, I mean, you can't get caught up in those games. You've just got to stick with your plan. Even, I mean, even if you're chasing a gold medal, even if you're a favorite for a gold medal, you stick to your plan. And, you know, and a good athlete and a good coach is going to come in with a plan. I've got a plan for my open. I've got a plan for my second. I've got a plan for my third. And then I've got plan B and C and D for my second and my third as well, based on everything else. Stick to your plan. Wait for opportunities. Uh, don't change it from what other people are doing. Holly Bryan's Great Britain, 95, and just doesn't want to budge. And there's a good example of how quickly the brakes come on in the bench press. Yeah, five kilo jump makes a huge, huge difference on a bench. Attempt selection in the bench press is almost no more the most nerve-wracking because... It's one of the hardest to get it right, I think. Yeah, as a national team coach yourself previously, you've probably seen, look, opener, the opener second move very fast, throw in two and a half to five kilos, the brakes come on, yeah, no look, warning. You can just never never really pick it. Steena from Norway, 95. Yeah, look, when you put that attempt selection in for bench as a coach, you know, you wait very nervously to see if they get that one. And... That one goes on the board. That's now, better. Everybody's on the board now. She missed her opener. She hit her second. Amelia from Sweden, 95 kilograms. If it comes down to a fight, we're all pretty sure Amelia's good for it, as long as it's within reason. It's a five kilo jump, but still five kilo below a personal best. However, when she hit that personal best, did she empty the tank like she did in squats? Well, I, I mean, that's exactly right. You use a lot of energy there. And she had to put in a grind for that one. I think she's pacing just like in squats. I think her second in squats was top end. I think her second in bench yeah. likely top end. Yeah, I mean, another two and a half kilos in that is, is going to be a real stretch. And hopefully she doesn't fight too much because by the deadlifts, she'll be pretty gassed up. Jessica Vittner, 97 and a half. And this is going to equal her personal best. Jessica, big squatter, big deader, and um, not a massive bencher, but serviceable, enough to hold her ground. Well and done. nice lift on that one, and the referees give three whites on that. So she just needs another two and a half kilo, small personal best. Yeah, I wouldn't be going for anything miraculous, anything at huge, a couple of kilos. It's just not worth it, is it? Especially if you dehydrate and you cramp up the bench, you get so tight. Yeah, it can make a big difference. Isabella on Weisenberg, 100 kilograms, and the crowd is on cue again. This is a personal best for Isabella. Obviously, hit a personal best in squat in her second attempt. Um, hit something, quite frankly, no one's ever hit ever in the 72 kilo class. 
100 kilo press. It's a big milestone as well when you're at the 100. Well, the 100 is a milestone. Oh, smoked it. For a personal best to move like that, that's scary for everyone else. Absolutely smoked it. Gary, I don't know, is there another five kilo? That was fast. Yeah, if she wants to push the envelope, it's in there. So 100 stays in the bar. Angelina Lovakova from Russia. Now talking about milestones, Angelina has hit 100 before, probably confident she could hit it again. And she's having a good day. Her technique is right on point, getting the most out of herself with all the levers in place, and then the Russian coaching staff getting the most out of her with well-placed attempt selection. She could surprise people. Five kilos is a fairly decent-sized jump on a bench press. Yeah, it is. And it doesn't seem to worry her at all. <laughs> Probably another five. Just five, whatever. Doesn't matter. Throw whatever you want in there. I think another five kilo jump looks about appropriate. Yeah, throw whatever you want on there, coach. Yeah. <laughs> Susanna Argyle from Great Britain, 100 kilograms. She has a very jovial walkout <laughs> onto the uh, platform. I love the way she walks out to the platform. Yeah, if she's feeling the pressure, she's not letting it show. Although sometimes when you're nervous, you smile. But... Uh, 100 kilo, I mean, we got a lot of women here hitting the 100 kilo mark. Look at how she gets up on those shoulders. Very strong pressing, very strong squatting. It seems like every event is competitive. And that's a good second lift. Yep. Gets it on the board. She's got that one red light again. Not entirely sure. I couldn't really see from here. Uh, but may have lifted a little bit. Another 100 kilo presser. I mean, this is a um, big I, numbers. I can't remember the last time 70, 72 kilo class had so many, many ladies in the hitting 100 and above. Yeah, triple digit. It's like just to be in the top 10, you got to be a triple digit now bench presser. Alyssa Smith, 100 kilograms. Oh, she had to put in the work. You can see at the bottom there, she she just mistimed when she came down to the chest. We see in the replay, she just sort of came down to the chest too fast. And just wasn't quite prepared for it. And you can see, it just yeah. wobbled a little bit and mistimed the press. Now, she's hit on her kilo before. Do you think she can make adjustments and hit that? Yeah, turn? I think so. I think she just yeah. needs to tighten up a little bit more control in the descent, tighten the lats up. Pin the scapulas back. Kimberly Walford, 110. Five kilos on there. This is five kilos less. She has to deadlift for the win. Moved well. Well, moved really well. The referees say it's a good lift, bit of a shrug of the shoulders here. Yeah, that was okay. <laughs> she knows. She's looking at the long game. She's not looking to win necessarily medals on bench. If she does, that's great. Add it to the pile. Kristen Dunsmore, USA 110. Equaling her personal best. And that's exactly right there. You get caught up chasing medals on squat or on bench or on deads. You lose sight of the prize at the end. Kimberly's probably not going to lose sight with her experience. That's more gets it. Yeah, that was uh, about the appropriate work for a second lift. Yeah, and um, so that equaled her personal best. Now she's in a position to go for her personal best in her third, a new personal best. Ana Castellan from Brazil, 120. And she has a very, very big and very, very good bench press on her. Yeah, 
not only is she a great lifter, she has a great personality <laughs> and is always smiling and laughing. Yeah, I think that's similar with all the Brazilians. Wowzers. Yeah, made short work of that. Yeah, she's not taking any chances on the bench press. She said, and look. You can see her attitude just lifting now, can't you? And it's good to chase positive momentum. She she took some chances in the squat, paid for it, not taking any chances in the bench, and now she's got a little more positive momentum. Yeah, you can see it just lifting a little bit. Maria Letnis from Norway, 120. This is just under a personal best. <laughs> goes on the board, she's happy with that one. So we come around for the third round now. Holly Bryan's from Great Britain, 95. Missed it on her second. Looking to take it one more time. I mean, it's five kilos over a personal best. It's a tough lift. Yeah, five kilo personal bests are tough to pick up on the bench press. And oh. she manages somehow. It's stalled and then butt. just yeah. fired. And, you know, we've said it before. Um, small adjustments make a big deal in the bench when there's so many levers yeah, at play. It's all about technique. And here they are. Moritzen from Sweden now, 97 and a half. We thought her back was against the wall for 95, but uh, in terms of fight, she showed plenty in the squat. Does she have a little left? And she's going to grind it all the way. She does. Talk about a fighter. She gets it to the top and Look. she gets it on the board. I've never seen somebody with so much fight in them like this. This is when the home crowd really that makes you rise to another a level. Fight right there. Well, I got to stop doubting that young lady. So Jessica Bitten and out 100 kilograms. This will be a personal best. 97 and a half was her previous personal best, and it was it was work. Yeah, I think the two an extra two and a half is there though. She's got to raise that intensity. Join the 100 kilo club. Like we said, it's a nice milestone for all these 72 kilo lifters. Nice touch. Oh, she's strong. And oh my goodness. Just not Almost quite strong enough. She got it moving really well off her chest there. It was, it was pretty, I thought for a second, yeah, she got moving really, really well off her chest. Yeah, right there, right before just, lockout. Just stalled. Alyssa Smith from Canada, 100 kilograms. Missed this on her second. And I, I think it just looked more like she just sort of mistimed everything. Some small adjustments you know, and it might you, be there. If you try and press, you know, and the rest of your body doesn't press at the same time, it's never going to happen. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's the head coach was just saying there, patience. Perhaps she got a little overzealous. Nope. Yeah, it looks better, though. I mean, it Came moved off the chest better. Her timing was better, uh, but just didn't have the drive to push it back. Isabella von Weisenberg, 102.5. The, cr the crowd is on cue again. Hit her personal best in the second. And now looking, looking at build. An extra five kilos on a personal best. And you know what? Her second was like a rocket. Yeah. Yeah. She really is stronger than we've ever seen her. And we've seen her plenty strong, so that's saying a lot. The crowd couldn't be happier with her performance today, I'm sure. Look at them. We have people literally crying and praying. <laughs> you think it means a lot. And to we're them. not even in the deadlift. Yet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Rockets. Holy. 
She is on fire today. Look, and you know what? The one thing I love about this sport, if you look in the, in the, in the corner where Steen is about to come out, even she was sticking her head around watching and smiling and loving it as well. They just get behind each other. They might walk out of that platform and try and compete against each other. Once they're at the back there, everyone wants to see everyone do well. Now, Steena looking for 102.5. And that's a big jump. Yeah, it is. Uh, seven and a half, especially on the back end. But she did miss her opener. Maybe this is what she wanted to end off on. Well, likely, yeah. She drives it well, though. Let's see if her butt stayed down. Good enough. She did. She gets the two to one. Yeah, missing 95. She probably said, load up what we always planned. It's a dicey move. Yeah, it looks like a planned <laughs> third. Yeah, it's a very dicey move. Susanna Agar from Great Britain, 102.5. right up she wants to try and get as high as she can as tight as she can mm. brakes came on yeah just a bit too tough on that one today shakes her head to a coach saying yeah not today <laughs> so we Fair. go up to 105 now angelina Lovakova from Russia, now who has been on fire today. Five kilos should be in the tank. We both thought a 100 kilo move very yeah, well. It's going to be tough. I mean, it's a five kilo personal best, so it's not going to be a walk in a park like her other list. She's really going to have to make sure everything is timed perfectly. Technique is on point. And she is certainly a very, very proficient technician. Well, I was wrong. It's not going to be a fight at all, actually. You know, it's not going to be any harder than the rest. I don't blame Load you. Load it up, coach. Load it up. I don't blame you. It just seems the weight gets heavier wow. and she gets stronger. She is having a great day. Yeah. She's six for six, and, and we haven't seen her fight yet. And you know what? Not just six for six. Her technique. I mean, I, I love watching when their technique is just so on point. We've seen it in so many of the sessions this week. So Kimberly Walford, 112 and a half. The way 110 moved, I think this is gonna this is gonna move fairly well. It, it's well within. I mean, she's hit this many times in competition. Yep. Yeah, no problems there at all. Slowed was work, but um, I was pretty confident. She was confident. She you takes know, it. She is playing a very very smart plan. So Kristen Dunsmore, 112 and a half. This will put her on the podium for bronze medal. She weighs lighter than Kimberly. It's not often you take a, a medal from Kimberly Walford, but she's well, attempting to right now. It's not, it's not an easy feat. <laughs> it's not an easy. She's the greatest 72 kilo lifter well, of all time. What are you going to do today? I think I'm going to take a medal from Kimberly. Just and a little too much. Just a little over the limit. Came off the chest fast. Anna Castelline from Brazil, 122 and a half. And here's another lady that's playing a very smart game, not getting caught up in it. I mean, we know from experience that she has more in the tank on a bench if she wants it. I was going to say, you know, there's playing, there's playing tight conservative, and then at, at some point you're like, how many kilos do I need? Well, there's nothing you know, better, though, than coming up to those deadlifts feeling fresh. Yeah, I think. And I've seen and I've seen the difference a number of times over the years when athletes come out for those deadlifts feeling fresh. When they're in a position like this, you know, you've just got that little bit of a better feeling when everyone's starting to feel run down. And I was bang on the money. And she puts the 122 and a half two, on. Two and a half more would actually yeah. be too much, I think. Yeah, I think she would have had to put in way too big a fight for two and a half more. 
if even she would have got it, to be honest. Yeah, and it's a lot of energy used for no gain. And now she's still fresh. Yeah. Maria letting us 125. Fresh and having failed two or three squats, the positive momentum of hitting three times in a row yeah, today. Exactly right. Yeah. That's the equal of personal best, but 120 looked. 120 was a little bit of work. 125. Yeah. Maybe she should have matched Anna Castle Lane with it's the 122 a big and a half. Jump. So she's gone the extra. She wants that gold medal. And just a little bit too heavy. So didn't quite get it there. Well, we've seen some interesting jobs done. Yep. Yeah, a few of the women doing their jobs very, very well, putting the numbers on the board. Uh, you know, bench, we talk about bench all the time, not being where we chase after people. Uh, but it's quite interesting. So, you know, Angelina Alavakova from Russia, you know, put on a great clinic there, got all three on the board, hanging in the background. Weinstein, you know, fantastic again. Where, do, where does it move from here? What's your prognosis in the deadlifts? Well, first off, when you enter into deadlifts, you cannot omit or look past Kimberly Walford. Her deadlift is gigantic. She's fallen back a little bit, recovered a bit of ground, more like hold serve in the bench press, which is probably her game plan. But has she fallen back enough that she can't pull for the win? Historically speaking, there's never been enough of a gap she couldn't bridge with her deadlift. Has the young guns like Isabella von Weisenberg Anna Castellane, who's a veteran as well, but Jessica Bittner, have they built a base of which they can finally stretch Kimberly Walford and she can't pull for the win? We've never seen it before, but we've never seen a 72-kilo class this competitive. I don't have the answer. It's Nobody gonna be does. tough. I mean, if she gets that open on the board, that gap's starting to get pretty big now. So we'll see how we go. Don't go away. 19 minutes, 12 seconds. We are going to be right back here on this platform and we're going to get the party started when these girls battle it out for the final results. I can't wait.
Well, welcome back to Helsingborg, Sweden, for the IPF 2019 Classic Powerlifting Championships. I'm joining the commentary booth with none other than Ryan Sixpack Lavadap, and it is about to heat up on the dead list. This is where the day is won or lost. Can Kimberly Wolford pull off another World Championships? She's got a massive deadlift on her. She's a world record holder. Can they catch her? It's like this, Gary. She's opening at 235. That's a monster opener. It depends how much room she has to grow after that. Her world record is 243. Eight kilos away, not a massive spread. Is it enough? She's a bit behind in the hole. Historically speaking, she's always been able to pull into the wind. Historically speaking, she has never met this kind of competition. She's coming back at 41. It'd be a great comeback story. And solidify her as possibly the greatest female power lifter or lifter, period, of all time. Yeah, look, I think if she can get that opener on the board, she sets such a big total to start with without her second and third deadlift that they're going to be very, very hard pressed to catch her. I'd like to think that, you know, it's been a year since she set that world record at 243 what she got left in the tank how much more can she pull now after has she had a good year has it been a good three or four coach three or four training blocks injury free and if that's the case i mean there's no telling what she's got up her sleeve really it's it's you just said it with how many question marks were at the end of those there's so many question marks around it um and, and quite frankly she might not fully know yet because she hasn't been here in a year so all eyes will be on this opener if it moves very smoothly that's trouble if it's a fight, the sharks well, smell blood. We're going to find out very, very shortly because we're just about to kick off. Stina from Norway, 167 and a half, and we'll be watching Kimberly's first lift very, very closely to see how fast it moves. Good opening lift. Gets that one on the board. So her total's registered. And that's what you want your opener to look like. As soon as you hit your first deadlift, your total is now guaranteed and official. Susanna Ajo from Great Britain, 175. Handled that one very well. And that's what we want Opus to look like. Holly Bryan's from Great Britain, 180. Another quick note in terms of how important an opener is. Not only do you no longer run the risk of bombing out, but for someone like Is Isabella von Weisberg, who has a world record, that world record is only recognized if you register a total. That's right, you've got to put a total on the board to get your world record. Nice and Holly Ryan's put that one on the board as well. And Kristen Dunsmore with a 180. Now, she had some problems with the back coming into this, so she only put a 75 squat on so she'd get a total on the board. Let's hope it doesn't affect her deadlift. Historically speaking, she's got a big pull. She's on the board. Well, it moved well. She didn't look like she was in any pain. Gives a bit of a nod to the coach, suggesting that everything felt all right. Yep. Maria Letnus from Norway, 185. I am also interested uh, with Isabella's attempt selection. Historically, it looks like a high opener, but judging by how strong she is today, that moves like a normal opener. It could be a huge total she's putting up. And puts that one on the board. That should be three white lights, and it is. Nicely done. Moritzson from Sweden, 185. 
Let's see if she can get a smooth, easy one on the board. <laughs> I'm, sure she'd, I'm sure she'd rock an easy one. <laughs> I'm sure the coaches would too. No dice. She doesn't believe in them. Yeah. She's had a good day. Hasn't been an easy day, but she's had a good day. Is she, uh... And she just got two red lights there. Have a look at the replay. Yeah, and that's the thing. When you start running a little bit tank on empty, yeah. opening looks weight like becomes... Yeah, it looks like the knees are a bit soft, maybe. You are allowed with one white to go to the jury. I'm not sure if they did, but... Alyssa Smith, 195. She's hit 210. I saw at the Canadian Nationals piece together a pretty good day. She should be good for 195. Yeah, I think she should be fine. I think she's looking quite fresh. She doesn't look exhausted. You can often tell when they walk out on the platform with an athlete that they're just looking really exhausted and run down. Uh, and she's still looking quite fresh. Mm -hmm. A little confident at the top. A little confidence goes a long way. Uh, Angelina Olivakova from Russia now, 200. Previously, her best dead was 205, and I think we're both expecting that to... Well, we've seen every one other one of her lifts. Uh, previously, her best, and she's absolutely smoked them. Cruising by her personal best performances. And I think it's going to be the same with deads. Yep. Look at that. Even the unclasping of the belt is on point. Yeah, she's uh, even got that down pat. That's a very smooth opener. Ana Castellane from Brazil, 202.5. Now, Anna wants to establish herself here. If she's not gunning for the gold overall, she certainly doesn't want to get knocked off a podium. Yeah, she wants to put this one on the board, make it look very convincing. She is full well capable. She has pulled 212 and a half, and I have seen her pull rabbits out of hats when it comes to pulling for medals. You cannot doubt Anna out ever. Nice. Yeah, big smile at the top. She's going to feel good after that one. So Isabella von Weisenberg, 215. The poster girl of Sweden, the pride of a nation. This well. will equal her personal best. I had said it seemed like historically she'd be opening high. This is equaling her personal best already. But we've seen her other lists, and they've been absolutely, I mean, she's flown by her personal best. And we talked about Kimberly Wolford opening at 235. She actually dropped before the start of the session to 230. That was pretty smooth. Wow, that was a pretty crazy personal best. Probably not a massive opener. I think Kimberly dropping it is a, is a good move. 235 did seem a little heavy for an opener, even for Kimberly, but. Uh, Jessica Vittner, 222 and a half. As soon as Kimberly makes her opener, she's already in the lead. And she only needs to maintain the lead as opposed to, you know, covering gaps after that. Two twenty-two point five. I think Jessica upped her deadlift, and Walford dropped her opening deadlift, and they're a lot closer now. Yeah, it certainly makes a difference. She's on the board, and that's a good opener. Well, we're all going to be watching to see how fast this one moves. Kimberly Walford, two thirty. We know what she can do. She is the greatest deadlifter, possibly of all time, regardless of divisions. She has made a legacy off this deadlift. And she's bringing some, she's bringing some intensity for this one. Yeah, she's a very intense puller. Looked pretty good. It was smooth all the way through. Yeah. And it goes on the board. I would say that was a smooth opener, and that's scary for everybody else. 2.30 moving well, like that. They've all got their invitations now. So it's Thena from Norway, 175.
Seven and a half kilo jump. Two and a half kilo below her personal best handles as well. Susanna Agar from Great Britain, 185. for that. Might be a little bit of hitching. It could be there. Let's see what the referees say. Yeah, yeah. it is. You could just see a pusher flies into the bar there. I'm not on the platform and I could see that. They got a better view than yeah, yeah, that's a bit of a ramp sure. there. Now, Amelia Moritzen missed this on her opener. And it wasn't because it was too heavy. No. Because of technical issues. Looks good. That looks better. Yep. I think that'll pass. Yeah, yeah, it's on the board. Yeah, looks a lot better there now. So Holly Bryan's 190. Now she's hit 192 previously. How fast this moves is going to be telling for how much is in the tank. Obviously, a two and a half kilo jump is very small for a deadlift. But if the pace has gone well in training, we could be well beyond that. Nicely done. I'm just looking at the scorecard here. If any of the top five or six start missing, it is a total shakeup. But looking at Kimberly's opener, I don't suspect the seven and a half kilo jump in the second will slow her down any. Maria Litmus, Norway, 192 and a half. No one, no one can afford to miss. Yeah. close to the down too close yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> too if she, if she could have held for just another quarter of a second it was close on the wrong side of close yeah but let's she, put it that uh, way. if she had got that down command a quarter of a second earlier she would have been okay Kristen Dunsmore 192 and a half showing all types of heart here she's got a severe glute injury tons of pain and battling through it That's not easy. And gets that one on the board. You know what? You pull yourself you, together, you collect yourself, and you get the job done. And she's doing that two for two in the deads. Alyssa Smith, Canada, 205. Five kilo below Alyssa's previous best. This will be 10 kilo onto her total. Hanging in six overall in a division that is just stacked with talent. Oh, she's put in a little bit of work. But that is a good second lift, that one. Ana Castellane from Brazil, 210. And this is somewhat an important lift. She needs to make this one convincing. Yeah, it's, it's a bit of a traffic jam trying to get onto the podium right now. It is tough. And none of these ladies wanna, are blinking. You don't want to be pushing too hard and then start missing lifts. But uh, at the if same you want to get up there, you need to push <laughs> a bit. You've got to, find, you've got to find the balance. You're right. She found her second. And you know what? Her second lift looked a little bit more comfortable than her first lift. I think you're right. She's starting to regain form yeah. and confidence. Angelina Olivakova from Russia, 210. So this will add five kilos to her personal best. 
right now, everyone number one, number one through four is within a pole of jockeying around on the podium with Anna and Smith of Russia and Canada in fifth and sixth just outside and could easily capitalize. Wow, she has gotten strong. She knows she's got more in the tank. Look at that smile on her face. <laughs> she almost nodded to you like she heard what you said. Yeah, no, we're good. Isabella von Weinsberg, 222 and a half. This will be, 215 was the previous best, so blow past that. Man, that's a big, big personal best, isn't it? But I tell you what, she's having the she day of her life. She's bringing her A game. She is going to bring it all the way to Wolford. This is going to bring her into first place, if temporarily, and people are on their feet cheering right now. She is bringing the fight to her. If Wolford wants this goal, she's going to have to pull for the goal. Holy moly, it's well, happened. I think that's the first time today we've seen her slow down a little bit. Oh, wow. Is there any slowing her down all the way, though? Well, the brakes aren't on yet. Not, not there yet. If you, if you tell her it's for the gold, I reckon she'll find another gear. And speaking of finding another gear. Jessica Bittner, 232 and a half. It's not often somebody pushes Kimberly toe-to-toe -to -toe in deads. These are massive, massive deadlifts. It's a battle of historic proportions, clash of the Titans in the 72 kilo class. Oh my goodness. Wow. Whoa. And there it is. Three whites. That one goes on the board. So I, Kimberly Wolford now, 237 and a half. This is going to be a big indicator. I don't think I've ever seen a deadlift in the 72 kilo class where Kimberly has to pull herself back into number one position. She's here now, first yeah. time ever, has to pull herself back into the number one position for deads. Dramatic stuff. Uh, Isabella has brought her a game. So has Kimberly. You're not wrong. So has Kimberly. Going to come down to the wire. Again. Three whites. <laughs> Back and forth, toe to toe. Wow. Stina from Norway, 180. It is a battle of monumental proportion. for a personal best. And it looks good from here. It is. Keeping an eye on the scorecard, we have Jessica Bittner and Isabella looking to potentially pull for the gold, but while they do that, Anna Castellane is looking simply just to take their medals should they miss. So if Bittner wants to pull for gold, it's going to be all or nothing. You either become the world champion or fall off the podium. It, well, <laughs> it's tough decisions to be made. Susanna Argyle from Great Britain, 187.5. She's pulling it. It gets to the top. Strong lockout. Great finish. Maria Letness, Norway, 192.5. I also want to mention both Bittner and Weisenberg have 243.5 as their final pull. Weisenberg, that's just a placeholder. And um, she's not going to pull that much. But with lot number, she knows she matches, and Bittner goes first. However, she could be backed in the corner if Bittner hits, and she has to try to match her own deads. And just a little bit much for it. I lost the balance a little bit there when she stood up. But put in an enormous effort today. Holly Ryan's Great Britain, 195. 
Let's look for a nice little personal bet to take home with her. Nothing like putting a PB on your suitcase after a World Championship event, is it? I don't actually know how to put that in your suitcase, but <laughs> maybe it's a 2.5 kilo Olico plate. I don't know. <laughs> off the ground oh she's working it can she get it there she locks looks like she did i don't think, I she, think she has it. yep she gets it on the board and she is happy with that finish currently walford has 250 that's got to be a placeholder i'm thinking if not holy moly well yeah i imagine that's a placeholder just to make sh just to ensure she gets that last pull yeah and, and just for everyone listening you can change your last deadlift twice Kristen Dunsmore, USA, 200 kilograms. Looking to go three for three under adverse circumstances. Yeah, absolute champion right there. Oh, whoa. Wow. Guts through it. Yeah, she's an absolute champion. Three whites. Amelia Moritzen from Sweden, 202.5. So this will give her a personal best total. It would be a fantastic way for her to finish. She's had a great day, but I tell you what, she's had a hard day. <laughs> That's to say the least, my friend. Uh, she has never met an easy opener, second or third. <laughs> If you like grinders, if you like fighters, you're an Amelia fan. Oh, she's going to fight for this one. How could she there not end it the other way? And no lift. She fought for it. Yeah. No, it just didn't lock out at the top, probably, I don't think. Yeah, a bit of ramping on the legs. Alyssa Smith, Canada 210. And we're getting close to the dramatic conclusion here. Isabella blinked first and dropped her last dead. She was threatening to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Jessica Bittner, which isn't really a good proposition because Jessica's got the bigger dead, but you have to hit your thirds, and Isabella has the bigger subtotal. Whew. This is matching a personal best for Alyssa. And sixth place overall in this field is phenomenal. Lots of hard wow. back hole. Holy. Did she want that one? Wow. Keep your eye on her. Yep. Three whites. Ah, uh, Castellane, 217 and a half. This Big will, personal best. This will actually put her in gold medal position on body weight should everybody else miss. Well, it's worth the pull, isn't it? Because we well, know what happens on third lifts when everyone starts pushing each other. The failure rate on third deadlifts is very, very high. She hits, they miss. She could be a world champion at best. At worst, she might be walking away with a medal. Well, you've got to leave it all out there. Listen, when Anna Castellane might not make the podium, you know how big it is because she well, is a legend in the sport. We have seen her fight so many times. She doesn't quit. And that one's just a little bit too heavy. Yep. She's fine. Absolutely Gives fine. The Gives the nod to the guys. She gave it everything. And, and she does. after that, Angelina Alevakiva from Russia has put her third attempt up to 22, 22 and a half now. Because this will move her into the bronze medal position temporarily. For the deadness. For the deadlifts. Yeah, and fifth overall in this field, top it's five. A big, big jump. Bring it's it home. It's a big call. It's a big personal best, 222 and a half. Previous personal best, 205. Yeah. The 210 moved well, but 12 and a half kilos is a lot. Who Ooh. am I kidding? Yeah. Take Ooh. my microphone. <laughs> what a lift, 222 and a half. Now here's Huge. Isabella. 
Isabella von Weisenberg, 227 and a half. She hits this, temporarily moves in the first place, and takes that bronze medal for the deadlifts. Look, and I think 227 and a half is a smart move. The 222 and a half slowed it down a little bit. Five kilo, I think it's probably in the tank. It's gonna force everybody else's hand. Uh, her Listen. second deadlift was the first lift that slowed her down. If she hits and Jessica Bittner and Kimberly push themselves too far and miss, that's your world champion, ladies and gentlemen. Sweden knows, the crowd's on their feet. They know this could be it. just a little bit too heavy. Still currently wrestling in second. Yeah, she's still sitting there. So there's right now your silver medalist. And, and that deadlift from uh, Alevikova from Russia has put her now bronze medal in the deadlift. Yep. Comes out of nowhere and gets on the podium. And to get on the podium in this crowd, that's one tough feat for right now. Jessica Bitten at 237 and a half. Her bronze medal overall is secure, but she doesn't want silver. She is not going to pull for silver. She wants all of the marbles. This is a pull for gold and forcing Kimberly's hand to take it back from her. That's a big lift. She's got it moving. Wow! Wow! She locked that out hard. It's good. It's going to come down to the wire. It always does. Nearly knocks Justin Reeset off his feet. I continually talk to athletes. Pre-plan your exit strategy. I don't want to be knocked <laughs> over. Now the queen of the lifts is about to take the platform. Two forty-two and a half. Is a big lift. It, it's half a kilo world shy of a world record. One record. Half a kilo shy of a world record. Half a kilo shy of the biggest pull she's ever had in the IPF. It's a very well, big ass. Half a kilo shy of the open world record. It's quite a few kilos ahead of the world M1 record. So she's going to have to pull a world record if she wants to win this. Look how psyched up she is. Here she comes. Here she comes for the world title and possibly the title of the greatest power lifter of all time. Oh, she's got it moving well. There it is. Oh, she's done she it. Gets it. The queen Take is the back. The queen is back. Kimberly Wolford with the gold medal. What a way to finish. It just doesn't really get better than that, does it? And the replay says it all. She wanted this more than anything else in the world and she certainly showed it that that last lift i swear moved faster and better than her second deadlift as well because it had so much on the line um, it just continues to get better and better so wolford is back world champion it's jessica bittner in just missing out by the skin of her teeth i tell you what you look at you look at these ladies first off let's just say it not only has uh, Kimberly Walford regained the 72 kilo world championship. She might be in contention for the greatest power lifter we've ever seen. The dynasty she's put together to come back and win the world title in a field this thick. And we've never seen a podium with almost like this type of totals. It's and insane. Talking about a field this thick, I mean, this was a stack field. It, to get on the podium in any of the lifts in this field was uh, absolutely unbelievable. But there's one we need to watch over the next few years. Alevakova from Russia comes out of nowhere, gets a bronze medal on the deadlift. Three years' time, is she going to be pushing them for the gold medal well, overall? I, I tell you what, even younger than her is Jessica Bittner. First year in the Open, taking a silver medal. Um, and, not, and but not just taking a silver medal, almost threatening for the gold medal. And, and having 532.5, first year in the Open, Every other year would have won her the world championships. Every other year it would have. Not this year because Kimberly Walford, the greatest powerlifter of all time, makes her comeback. Well, I'll tell you what, look forward to next year because I reckon it's going to be even tougher next year. But don't go too far away. We'll have the medal ceremony very shortly. And don't go even further away because there's more action this afternoon. If I could take it.
It is false.
ceremonies, people come on here. Okay. Jesus Christ, please, in all religions around the world. Many, tell them to come here.